Welcome to the world's biggest solar and hydroelectric plant. The whole facility is roughly the same size as Singapore, including the dam, solar farms and, and as yet mostly unbuilt wind element, the project covers about 600 square kilometres. At any given moment, the facility's 9 gigawatts has the capacity to generate the electricity needed to power New Zealand. Once the plant is completed, its combined solar, wind and hydropower will generate nearly 19 gigawatts of electricity. So behind me is the Long Yan Shan Dam. Uh, it took 10 years to construct. It's been operating for 34 years and it works in conjunction with the solar farm. Electricity generated by solar power is intermittent and volatile. It's not stable. When a cloud comes, the generation process is changing. Incorporating with hydropower is a good solution to supplement with solar power. The facility is a key part of President Xi Jinping's pledge to reach peak emissions by 2030 and get to carbon zero by 2060. To help its green pivot, Beijing is accelerating the construction of renewable plants. Most of them are located in remote areas like this one in the western province of Qinghai. In July, the province was powered entirely by wind, solar and hydroelectricity. We also transmitted to central and eastern places like Chongqing, Beijing, Jiangsu. At Beijing Daxing International Airport, they use the clean electricity transmitted from here. To deliver all that power from the country's interior to its coastal megacities, tens of thousands of ultra-high voltage power lines, or UHVs, are being raised at an estimated cost of $300 billion over 30 years. China is striving hard to reach its zero carbon goals in what's shaping up as one of the government's biggest bets to provide energy security for its people and fulfill the pledges made at the COP26 climate conference in Glasgow. Jason Rogers, Bloomberg News.